Hey, welcome back to Solization 6 as Vietnam. So, after a lot of consideration, I decided to give up this canal because I'm not even sure if it's going to be useful since I can't see the map and I don't know if I would be able to maintain the loyalty. So instead, one city will be settled right here on the tundra next to the river and the other one probably in this area, but I want to reveal a few more tiles to the southeast and then I can decide the exact location. So let's do that. This way I will get all the resources that matter and loyalty will not be a problem. And we also got a goodie hut down here. Interesting. Yeah, I will go and grab that. Probably with this guy. He's a little bit busy fighting barbarians right now, but it's not that important. Yeah, let's go get that goodie hut. And there's still a goodie hut here. So let's grab that. And as I said, I need to reveal a few more tiles to the south. But one city will be right here, this exact spot. I will still be able to get a harbor on the west side, in case I'll need it. So there we go, that's one city. I'll have the nighter immediately. Now I can fight by the builder immediately. So let's do that. And we'll open with a monument. Okay then. So now we can get another trader out, nice. Uh, that was a builder. A few nice wonders are still available. Uh, I don't think I'll be building them in this city, however. No. Let's get a few more builders because I actually still need them. We can send one north. And how about religion spread? What's going on here? Yeah, I might have to use an inquisitor here. So let's do that really quick. Here. Okay, that's better. Keep the other one. And I also need to convert New Orleans. Yeah, an Inquisitor can handle that. What else? Industrial zone in our capital, nice one. Obviously workshop next. And I think there's a barbarian camp somewhere around here. Because that swordsman had to come from somewhere. I guess we'll find out. So, do I need more missionaries? I think one will be enough, but I guess we'll see. One should be enough for our new cities. Uh, four builds on the builder. Let's see, where can we get lumber mills? Well, we can have one here. I would have to buy that tile, however. I guess I can send him south. That works. I need Nubia to leave with all these missionaries. They are getting on Not my nerves. Or I'll just kill them. That works too. Well, they're asking for it. I might grab another Inquisitor still. He's not dead yet. Yeah, let's maybe get another Inquisitor. Just in case, I don't want them converting my cities. We need our stonks, damn it. So, next up, probably gunpowder. I think I was building an armory somewhere. Yeah, right here, in New York. So, that will be done in two turns. And we'll get the boost. Right, so, let's see. Yep, there's the swordsman. So, we got sheep and we got copper. Hold on then, let me think about this. Get the nighter, obviously. That gives us rifling boost. So I could settle on spot, that's an option. I don't really want to settle on top of the ship. And I don't want to settle too far south. I think settling on spot is fine. Then I would still be able to get a harbor and I would get most of the resources I care about in the area. So this spot is fine. Okay, yeah, I like this spot. Let's settle here. 
and I'll probably fight by another builder once I get the fate. So these are actually going to be pretty nice cities. And the loyalty shouldn't be an issue either. With two cities next to each other. So, uh, I could plant woods if I want a district here. Yeah, okay, let's plant woods and get a lumber mill. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, kill that missionary. There we go. And we got a few more in the area. What policies do we have right now? Let's see, serve them. I might switch to land surveyors temporarily again. Just to buy a few more tiles. We have the money and I should definitely buy the incense. This was kind of the point of the city. And also the other nighter and a few other things. Anyway, let's take care of that swordsman here and go find the barbarian camp. There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere in the area. Now I can fight by the builder. There we go. The missionary is coming. Again, one missionary should be enough. And we'll probably want a holy site in one of the cities. This would be a nice spot for a holy site. That's probably what I'll go for. Especially with work ethic. Right, three turns to finish guilds. Can we get it boosted? I don't think so. Not really. Or at least it would take a little bit too long. Yeah, let's just finish it the regular way. Go get that goodie hat. Would be nice to get some boost from that goodie hat. I certainly wouldn't mind. Uh, where's the closest holy side here? To heal myself up. Right here. Wait, no, that's entertainment complex. Here. So I can use that to heal myself up. Uh, first, we might want to kill that missionary. So let's do that. I can't quite finish him off. But he can't do a whole lot either. He'll have to leave. Well, I mean, if he doesn't leave, I'll kill him. And the swordsman killed himself. Thanks for your cooperation. Yeah, there's the barbarian camp. I guess we'll get rid of that. So, okay, first the full health inquisitor. And now we can heal our units. And we got a promotion. So, these are not super useful. Let's pick up Martyr, I guess. And then I could go sacrifice that apostle. That kind of works, yeah. That works. So, let's see, another district. A theater square wouldn't hurt. I only have a grand total of one theater square. A commercial hub would also not be a bad idea. A preserve would be okay, though. I don't have a single one yet. What else? Amenities here are fine. My science is mostly okay, I think. But I wouldn't mind more culture. I'm a little bit behind in culture. So I'm leaning towards a theater square. Right here will be fine. It won't be amazing, but it's good enough. So let's grab that. Three more bills. So, looks like I already have all the lumber mills in the area. Yep, seems like it. I could remove the jungle, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, two more turns and we can switch our policies. So, let's get all this improved. The city should grow relatively quickly. They should both grow relatively quickly. And the first district will be holy site to take advantage of work ethic. I need production in here for obvious reasons. So get rid of that barbarian camp. Sanguine pact, okay. Uh, well, hey, that's an option. But I think I'll be going uh, with void singers 
that just makes more sense. Uh, also, we can assign Liang now. Uh, hold on then. I could pick up aquaculture on Liang and get some fisheries somewhere. There are a few cities that would benefit from fisheries, most notably New Orleans and Washington. So let's actually move to New Orleans and then... Oh wait, I have Victor in here. I mean, Victor doesn't really matter, I can move him elsewhere. We can move him to one of our new cities. It's fine. He can chill. So next up, metal casting. That's already boosted. Uh, there's the workshop. So uh, let's see. I could get a few more builders. I could just run a campus research grants or theater square festival. How are great people right now? Oh, this guy is nice. Reveals oil without the normal technology requirement. Uh, let's run a campus research grants once or twice. I also have a few heroes available. Most of them are war oriented. So, well, especially Arthur and the twins. They are very war oriented. And I'm not really going to war right now. Any good spot for commercial hub? Not really. Uh, also, I actually cannot build a canal here because canal cannot be freeway. So uh, that's a bit unfortunate. I'll have to give up this canal. Anyway, how about a good spot for a holy site? Not really. That's not what I would call a good spot. I mean, I could grab entertainment complex, that is an option. Or we could just build that armory. Let's just get the armory. That won't hurt. Uh, one more turn and we can switch policies. So let's wait for that. Then I can buy all the tiles around here. At least that's the plan. I have the money. We'll pick up that goodie hat. Alright then. And let's maybe go and send the apostle to Germany or whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, everything is converted as far as I can tell. Yeah, yeah, embassy is fine. Every man should make his son. We got guilds, so now I need land surveyors. Uh, I could fade by one more builder before I swap out serfdom. So I wouldn't mind one more builder down here because I will need a lot of improvements. Uh, also here, still multiple tiles that need to be improved. That's 190 fade, not very expensive. Which other city could use a builder? Uh, that's pretty much it for now. So four builds and three builds, that's seven total. Uh, let's grab one more and then we can swap out. Serve them for land surveyors. I'm keeping everything else. Yep. I could pick up craftsmen instead of natural philosophy, that's an option. But I think I'd rather keep natural philosophy. We'll get craftsmen once it's worth more than plus seven production. Okay, so now I can buy the tiles. Let's get the incense here, because that was the point, and I will be able to get the industry. Horses, because that's a nice tile to work. Let's see. I'll grab that forest and get a lumber mill right away. Down here as well. What could we buy here? Okay, I mostly got everything I need for that city. A plus one population. Okay, that is actually nice. Which city got plus one population? I think this one? Well, definitely not these two. I mean, whichever city got it, plus one population is always nice. Next stop, diplomatic service, because that's boosted. And there's another builder. So, what's next? 
I'm tempted to build a wonder, but I don't really have a good tile for it in this city. So I think I'll have to pass. Let's just run campus research grants again to speed things up. What about city-states? I got three envoys right now. Uh, yeah, I need to get my city-states back. There. Alright, I will be keeping my envoys. There's another governor title. So now I could pick up aquaculture and get the fisheries. I know I'm delaying my secret society quite a bit, but I want to get a few fisheries for New Orleans. It will need some housing. So... Yeah, it has 7 out of 7 right now. Fine, let's pick up Void Singers now. I delayed it long enough already. Here, done. We got Void Singers. And then I guess I'll pick up Chorus right away. As soon as I'm able to. You know, to get more yields. That's 20% of our faith. And I'm getting 191 faith per turn. <laughs> it's about time to get Void Singers. How quickly can I get another Governor title? Where's the next one? Yeah, probably right here, I guess. So that will take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. So, right, Granary. Uh, no, Old God Obelisk. Yep, same thing here. I guess Fisheries will have to wait. We still got one missionary, but he doesn't seem to be moving towards me. This guy. Yeah, he doesn't seem to care about me all that much. So let's just go to Germany. Uh, their city is flipping. Rebellion in one turn, really? Okay, I don't really have enough units around here to take advantage of that. But that's unexpected. I wouldn't mind taking that city. But I would have to get a few more units if I want to do that. We will be getting bombards very, very soon. So that's an option. Let's switch from campus research grants to some military units. So I could get a knight pretty quickly. Catapult in two turns, but this will be a bombard. And I don't really have enough nighter for that right now. Uh, hold on then, let's delay that by one turn to get a few more catapults out. I can switch to banking. Yeah, and get a few catapults out. Definitely a good idea. So another one here, that's three turns, maybe in New York, oh that's damaged, alright. Terracotta army is still available, I might build that, that's only 12 turns as well, definitely a good one to have. Uh, so catapult, then theater square, I could also get a unit in my capital, preferably a fast one, like a knight. My unique unit is still good. That's 40 ranged straight. So I could still get that. And they will upgrade in the future, so... Works for me. There, we cleared all the barbarians from the looks of it. Where are some other units? Can they get here quickly? Not really, at least not quickly. Okay, fine. We'll see what we can do. It's about to flip. There. So it does have walls and 45 defense trade. And it will be a little bit tricky to attack it. Plus 156 stonks. Yep. So I'll try, but I'm not sure if I will be able to do it. We'll give it a shot. If nothing else, I'll get some experience for my units. Works for me. You guys just sleep and wait. Okay, how about we buy a few more tiles? This one, to get some more production. We can explore a little bit more. I mean, I can't get this guy up quickly to this area. That would take way too long. Not even going to try. Alright, so industry. 
Uh, doesn't really matter which tile exactly it's going to be. Uh, this one is just fine. And that's plus 25% faith in this city. So right now that's not going to be very helpful, but it will be once I build a holy site and such. And it will be a nice tile, look at that. Yep. So, let's see. A few more tiles to buy. Let's get this one. And this one. I could get a coastal tile to get a harbor, but I'm a bit low on gold now. So let's get the niter here, because I'll need niter for bombards. If I can get a few bombards quickly, I should be able to take that city. Here, more stonks. I might need an inquisitor here. I guess I can just send one. I could send one of these, but it would take them a while to get there. Yeah, 11 turns, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Yeah, let's just recruit a new one and I'll send him from my capital. That's good enough. Here, more horses. Mostly for yields. And I need to sell some luxuries. Let's see who's going to pay. Uh, he's not paying enough. We'll try somebody else. Yeah, let's try Kublai Khan. Does he even have enough money? Because last time I checked, he did not. Uh, this might be a decent enough deal, to be honest. Okay, it's not an amazing deal, but I'll take it. For one luxury, that's good enough. Okay, he has enough gold per turn. How much is he going to pay, though? I want at least five gold per turn. Okay. Uh, that's a good deal. That is a good deal, for sure. Uh, one more, let's say truffles. How much will he pay in gold per turn? He won't pay seven this time. And what about Scotland? Uh, he does have the gold, sort of. Okay, fine, I'll take it. What's going on with their gold? Why are they all broke? That's a bit weird. <laughs> but okay, whatever. Not my problem. Here, more catapults. How long will that take? One single turn. Yeah, let's grab another catapult. Banking is almost done. Nice holy site. Plus three is not too bad. Yeah, let's buy this tile and get a plus three. That's good enough. So that will also give me more production in that city. And the more fade is not a bad thing now that I have Void Singers. Uh, just send the Inquisitor here. Convert the other city. All right. Looking good. Done. And get the Niter. So now I need 20 Niter for one Bombard. Yeah, that might take a little bit of time, but oh well. Uh, one more incense, I'll just buy that. Uh, not waiting 13 turns. Here you go. Incense usually is not that good, but with the industry improvement, at least one of the tiles is acceptable. So yeah, this guy will go to that free city. Yeah, I'm not sure if I will be able to do it, but again, I'll try. I will definitely need the bombards here. As you can see, my guy barely did any damage. So with the bombards, I should be able to do it. The only problem is this lake. That will make it a little bit tricky to actually attack that city with too many units. And I'm not close to getting observation balloons. I will get them eventually, but I'm not quite there yet. So, I don't know, we'll see. Spread more stonks. He might not like that, but whatever. Nobody asked him for his opinion. Oh no, we broke our promise. I saw a bank that said There we go. 
It didn't quite convert it, but okay. It was pretty close. I could convert it if I want to. With an apostle. Anyway, now we can get metal casting. I'm done with all the catapults. So let's get metal casting. And then we can upgrade. Would be nice if I could get cores. But I don't think I'm close to that either. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, what's next? A few more units, I think. Uh, let's grab that trader, because apparently I need one. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, okay, then I might need some help over here. That's fine. Now, how about a harbor? So, it has to be on this side. It won't have any bonuses, but that's okay. I just need a harbor here. The tile doesn't matter too much. I suppose it can be this one. Actually, let's go with this one. And then I could maybe have a district here and here, potentially. Okay, works for me. So, harbor... there. That will take a while. Uh, three more builds. Yeah, let's grab a Cahokia Mound, and then a mine, and uh, probably another Cahokia Mound. Uh, same thing here. Or the ship. How's housing? Two out of seven. This city will grow pretty quickly, though, and Cahokia Mounds are nice for housing. Oh, yep, see, I will need an Inquisitor down here. Uh, well, it's a good thing that he's coming. I might need more than one. I guess I could grab one of these and send them south. They'll get there eventually and they don't have anything better to do at the moment. Sure. Anyway, I, I still got land surveyors. I could grab this, I guess, and just get like a hockey mound. Sure, how's housing? 11 out of 15. So, 15 is not that high. More housing is definitely a good thing. Uh, four builds. And I'm at 54 gold at the moment. So, this is still a decent one for Cahokia Mounds, but a forest might be better. So, let's grab a forest. Oh, we have a new city from Mongolia, really? Okay. Well, it's a good thing that I got that incense for industry. That's a weird city. It will be losing loyalty right away, so I'm not quite sure what he's thinking. But not my problem, I guess. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What the heck? Where did he even come from? <laughs> Doesn't matter, he's dead now. Next up, uh, ballistics. We could get started on that. Uh, siege tactics, because I will have two bombards as soon as I get enough nighter. So, let's see. That's 330 gold. A bit expensive. How about professional army? Yeah, I'll have to switch to professional army. But my income is pretty damn good. So we'll get there soon enough. Back to the capital. So a few wonders are still up. You know, seven turns for this wonder here is not that bad. What else can we build? Mont Saint Michel is not too bad, but I don't exactly need it for my current strategy. Missioners and apostles can spread religion one extra time. Plus four faith. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, you know what we should build? We should build chicken pizza. That's the name for it. Because I will not be chopping the rainforest. So this is actually a no-brainer wonder for me. I didn't even think about it, because I usually just chop the rainforest, but for Vietnam it's obviously different. The theater square is here, so let's build it next to the theater square to improve the theater square bonus. But this is a complete no-brainer, I didn't even think about that earlier. I just realized that. That will be worth a lot of culture and production. That's an amazing wonder for Vietnam. 
Okay then. So, right, let's get all these guys up here. And the Inquisitor is going south. I will keep doing sound damage. Mostly to get experience. But obviously one guy is not going to achieve much. Uh, another industry we can get. So that one will be good. Uh, not sure what the bonus for silk is. But I suppose it doesn't matter that much. So mine. Oh wait, uh, we still got a meteor site over here. I never picked that up apparently. Uh, yeah, let's go pick that up now. It's not like anyone else is going to. A plus 20% culture yield in the host city. Okay, well, right now I got five. Where else do we have silk, actually? Okay, just here. Okay, sure. It will be good for the yields, if nothing else. Terracotta army is still available, and I could build that in 12 turns. Might be worth it, but let's grab an amphitheater first. Diplomatic service is almost done. Wait, really? Mongolia is sending a missionary? Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Can I ask him to not do that crap? Sort of. Okay, he says he won't, but I'm not sure if I trust him. I suppose we'll find out. Yeah, I'll need an Inquisitor down here. A missionary... Oh, no, hold on. It was enough for now, but I will need an Inquisitor regardless. Possibly more than one. Right, in one turn I can switch to professional army. Because I clearly need that. How far are we from courts? Uh, quite far. I would need nationalism for that. That's not happening soon, unfortunately. Oh well, I guess bombards will have to do. I don't think Germany will be doing it. I wouldn't mind him doing some damage in order to help me out. So Nihang has 55 melee straight now. How much would it cost me to buy more? 460 fate. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. And I'm making 217 per turn. Yeah, I might just buy another one. What the heck? Let's buy another one. And what else can I fade by? I can fade by more builders, obviously. I already got all the buildings I need. Uh, the dam is almost finished. Nice. Let's see. Another Nihang, maybe? Yeah, 460. Okay, one more. Here. That's 220 to fade. I'll need a few more of them once I'm able to create armies and, and corps. There's diplomatic service. Now I can switch out land surveyors. Let's check if we want to buy any more tiles before getting rid of that. Uh, yeah, it might be nice to secure like this tile here. So that... Oh wait, hold on. I thought this was a cost, but it's not. Here, this one, so that I'm able to get a harbor in the future on this side. I just need more money. So give me your money. Some gold per turn. I can always sell some strategic resources as well. Here we go, and I need slightly more still. Okay, he has the gold. He's not willing to pay me too much for citrus. Let's see if he's going to pay for strategic resources. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's a good deal right there. I'll take it. So let's buy this. And then I can get a harbor here. That will be the plan. In case I'll want some ships on this side of the continent. So, next up, humanism or reformed church? 
Uh, that's not required for anything, actually. Humanism and then enlightenment, probably. Or mercantilism. Uh, that's the trader. So, where are the good trade routes? Let's see. Are there any good ones? That's internal trade routes. There are some decent ones. I should send some trade routes to my allies. Okay, that was the best one with the plus 10. Plus 10, plus 9. Okay. That was the city, I believe. That's 4 out of 4, yeah? Yep. Okay, more units. Oh yeah, I will need a spy. Let's get a spy then. I don't have one yet. And change the policies. So I don't need the professional army. Let's get that then. And I'm keeping everything else. I definitely want the gold still. Okay, there you go. So now I need, yeah, I need slightly more money, still. Uh, where do you think you're going? Yeah, let's block the way with the melee guy. I should be able to take this city, unless Germany somehow does. Although, yeah, rebellion in four turns. I don't know who's going to get it, though. Oh yeah, it will be us, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks like it will be us. Interesting. Well, hey, that is a decent city, actually. And it will give me access to, like, the west side of this continent. And then I could get a canal here, because that's a flat tile, and be able to go like this. It looks like this sea is connected to the ocean, although I don't know for sure. If it is, this is going to be a super useful city, once I get a canal. We shall see. So one more turn in Siege Tactics, then we can switch to something else and finish it once I get the Bombards. So not improving that forest yet, because that will probably be a district. Uh, four turns until border growth. I guess I'll wait for that. What else? Uh, yeah, let's go get that Meteor site. Still all level 1 alliances, and that's fine. So, that's the trade route right here. For such a short trade route, that's a pretty good one. Uh, we'll get the citrus. Now we can switch research to something else, like square rigging. I don't think I'll be boasting that. I would have to kill a barbarian with a musket man, and I don't even have a musket man right now. So, that will not be happening, I don't think so. Nope. Okay, three more turns. I guess I'll just chill and wait. Sure. Yeah, it does look like it will be me. Well, alright. So, what's next? Uh, that's the dam, nice. Uh, where was it exactly? <laughs> Uh, hold on. Which tal is it on? I literally can't see which tile is on. Oh yeah, this one, right, okay. So, what's next? I will have to plant a forest somewhere to build an industrial zone, which is fine. That's what I got the builders for. It should be next to the dam, for obvious reasons. So... Probably here... I don't think it matters that much. But if it's here, then it will also be next to the horses and the stone. So this seems like a no-brainer, I just have to remove the Kohokia mound. Yeah, that's definitely a no-brainer. We can get a Kohokia mound up here instead. So, there you go. 
and build something else while we wait to plant the forest. Uh, okay, musket man. Nope, let's save for bombards. That's 165 gold now. Here, that's some era score as well. And now I need eight more nighter. We are getting four per turn. So that's two more turns. And that will also give us siege tactics. You guys just chill and wait. Yeah, I would buy that, but I need the money for unit upgrades currently. Go on then. World Congress. Yeah, plus 10 to our religion. Plus 10 strength to stonks, obviously. Plus 100%. And that can be like religious, I guess. Or trade. Trade is Kahokia, basically. There we go, nice. Plus 10 strength for all units of the Stonks religion. And the targeted city religious. That works too. I don't have some religious city states nearby. Uh, get that citrus for me. We got 900 faith. Okay, rebellion in two turns. Uh, let's kill this guy. Get some experience. And go convert. Well, there's nothing to convert right now. I'll just chill and wait. For when he will be needed. Uh, one more bombard. Oh yeah, not yet. One more turn. Right. So let's wait and see what happens with that city. Wait, why can I not plant forest here? Oh, is it because it's a floodplain? Yeah, I think it's because it's a floodplain. Okay, hold on then. This is also a floodplain. I might have to remove the stone or something. Or I guess I could build it... Yeah, I'll have to remove the stone. Well, if that's what I have to do, then that's what I'll do. I want it to be next to the dam. Okay, fine. The bonus will be a little bit lower as a result. But I guess that's still acceptable. Looks like I'll be getting the Kohokia mounds again. Okay, I guess we'll harvest the stone and get the industrial zone here. I don't want to miss out on the bonus from the dam. And then I can plant more forests here, get more districts here. Probably a commercial hub, because that's actually a good spot for a commercial hub. We got a knight for free. Okay, that's nice. I'll take it. Next. The holy site is almost done. So that will give me more production from work ethics. Okay, you guys just chill and wait. I suppose I can do some damage or just wait. Uh, yeah, one more bombard. That will give me siege tactics because of the boost. And we got one more build. So, lumber mill. There. Done. So now I can harvest this. Let's queue something up to not waste the production. I mean, it wouldn't be wasted, but I want to have control over that. So then I can plant a forest here. And then that will be an industrial zone. Here, okay, done. I might as well finish the walls now. And then we can have two more districts down here. Most likely a commercial hub, like I already said. Where do you think you're going? Uh, there's still a barbarian camp somewhere down here. Might want to find it. Yep, there we go. We got the city. It has two districts. We got some era score. What does it have? Holy site and campus. Nice. Uh, now I can convert it right away. Because it clearly needs more stonks. Everyone needs more stonks. And let's see. So, I'm reserving this tile for a canal in the future. Uh, let's grab Old God Obelisk. Uh, that's the amphitheater. 
How about that Terracotta army? That's 11 turns. Looks like I'll have to remove either Kahokia mounts or the lumber mill. I would prefer to keep the Kahokia mounts because I need that housing. So over here? I guess so. It's worth it. And I have a lot of units. They will all benefit from Terracotta army. Okay, fine, let's do it. There, so that will take 13 turns. Maybe a bit faster. Okay, 12 turns. Technically, I could chop the jungle, but assuming I will build chicken pizza, uh, these jungle tiles will be significantly better. It's usually not a wonder AI builds very often, so I assume we'll be able to get it. I only need seven more turns to get it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition and to spread stonks. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.